Uh, you know, I'm not really good at predicting these things. I read everything and hear everything, but uh, I, I just have to, you know, hope that we're going to get a fair deal and, and that uh, they'll come back to the, to the table. You know, I think AI is a huge issue. Um, I think that uh, transparency, I think that the basic wage, but you know, the, all of these things are things that I personally can negotiate for. But I'm here for the working class, middle class part of our union, you know, who needs these basic provisions in the basic contract, you know. Well, I think everything will be behind schedule anyway, because especially because the writers have been out for so long uh, now, and, and you know, even though we were marching with them, we had contracts that we were uh, obligated to finish. Um, I'm not sure how slow the summers actually are anymore. With streaming content, everything gets shot. I think people were preparing to shoot earlier because they were anticipating this strike. Um, so there will be content coming in, but. Once that dries up, the pipeline for new material will be, you know, it'll be months behind schedule. Well, I think just seeing people out here and being aware that not all actors are super, super high paid actors, that they are working class people who are trying to, uh, you know, make, make a living and that if they don't have a living wage, these are the things that the public, you know, loves entertainment. We love it. I love it. I'm a consumer. I go to the movies. I watch television shows. I think just to have the awareness that there are people that are working very hard, sometimes behind the scenes and unheralded, who just need a fair deal. Well, it's the same thing that's going on across the country with so many uh, different industries, is that there's a destruction, and everybody can vouch for this, anybody seeing this is probably aware of, that the middle class is being squeezed for years and years to the point of disappearing. And the reason is because through whatever, through legislation or corporate greed or new innovation, innovation there's, uh, there's less money in the pot for the average citizen that's doing the work and we're either seeing people, the, the wealth disparity in this country has grown exponentially. So for me, it's very much about living a middle class life that most actors that you know are living, not the super wealthy ones. Most actors in our union are either not working or when they are working, they're trying to just get by, you know, do the same things any other middle class American would want. And that's being squeezed on all fronts.